Good morning, Rebels, and welcome Good back morning. to our channel. So today is my due date. Mm-hmm. And I'm still pregnant. I know we thought the last couple videos ago that we weren't going to make a video for a while because there was going to be a baby, but she's not ready to come out yet. My shirts, none of my shirts fit. There she is. She's really comfortable. She's refusing to come out. So we decided since we're stuck in quarantine, we're going to spend all day today going down the list of how to induce labor at home. Mm hmm And try to get this baby girl out because I'm over it. Yes, we want to meet you already. Over it. We're, we're ready to meet ready you. We're ready to have a baby. All right. So for number one. Number one. Midwives brew. Midwives brew. So you use apricot juice, almond butter, lemon verbena tea, and castor oil. And you make this whole thing, blend it up, and drink it. I've heard it's really nasty and people throw up, so hopefully that's not me. So I'm going to make this and we'll get back to you guys. brew it looks disgusting I put a little bit of ice in it mm -hmm. and then drink it with a straw Try to Save make it the like turtles. a smoothie you're also you're supposed to drink this on an empty stomach yeah way. so I haven't eaten yet mm -hmm. cheers I'm feeling, and I'm drinking my coconut um, coffee I'd rather drink that that looks way better if you want the baby up okay cheers I gotta drink it slowly because I'm for sure gonna throw it up if I check it okay and this is yummy because it has little coconut chunks in it. <laughs> it's so Whoa. gross. <laughs> Can I take a little taste? Ugh. I would just chug it, honestly. Uh, that way I wouldn't uh, do it with the taste. Doesn't it make you want to throw up? No, not throw up, but it's just nasty. It has a weird... It tastes like motor oil, apricot motor oil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully I can keep this down. Because Loki, I did try this a few days ago and I threw it all up. That's why I'm going to drink it from a straw and try to drink it slowly because I chugged it and it lasted like three minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you guys when I finish this. It's going to take me a hot second to drink this. <laughs> okay, my next step is to take evening primrose oil and this is supposed to... Hey mom. Oh hi. She's ready for the baby to come out too. Um, this you deposit up there and it's supposed to soften your cervix. I've been doing this for about a week now, so I'll just continue today. I'm sure one day won't make a difference, but maybe the combination of everything while you're doing will help, hopefully. Okay, next up is we're gonna walk up and down the stairs for as many times as I can handle. Three times. And hopefully I get contractions. Yes. That is step If number. I get contractions, then we're gonna keep going. There she is, killing it. <laughs> okay, and apparently you're supposed to walk sideways to get uh, the baby down. Mosquito. Like this. I guess it drops it. Feels weird. We're this place that has like stairs and stairs and stairs. We go at least three times. Apparently walking upstairs helps labor go. Okay, I'm already out of breath. Okay, so we walked up the stairs. Next up is pineapple, um, but I looked up you can also drink pineapple juice. So I bought a bunch of these and I'm gonna drink like three of them. The only reason I got the juice instead of the actual pineapple is because pineapple is kind of hard to eat after like a few slices, your mouth starts to hurt and your teeth hurt a little bit. So I'm gonna drink like three of these little pineapple juice cans and then try the next thing. And I am literally trying everything, all the popular things that come on the internet. So if this doesn't work, then I literally don't know what to do anymore. She just wants to stay in me forever, I guess. Yeah, that's way better. I actually did eat pineapple yesterday and I could not have more than like three slices, so this is way easier to help. 
Hopefully one of these things work. Okay, next. I'm out of breath because I've already done a bunch. Deep squats apparently, right? Yep. So I'm gonna do like a hundred of these. Oh my gosh. I'm already at like 50, so it's not that bad. When did you do 50? When you were laying in bed. Oh, okay. When <laughs> you were laying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> trying to call you out and you call it's me out. I think you don't have to be in labor because she's just been laying in bed even so. Well, oh, piss off. <laughs> I'm going to the labor as a workout. So now I'm doing bouncing on a yoga ball. These will be the only balls I will, will be, out, be bouncing on. <laughs> 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 then I gotta do the weird, like... Yeah. Yeah. This is the humping one. Oh, so there's three different moves. Yeah. It definitely, like, tightens. But I'm not in labor yet, so I don't know. But I definitely feel it, like, tightening my... Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing on the list was eating spicy food. So we have these Thai- And I naturally eat hot sauce kind of stuff, so we need something hotter. Can you let me finish this? Yes, sorry. Okay, so we have some Thai chili peppers that are really spicy. Ivy accidentally ate some yesterday, <laughs> thinking it was a green bean because I made some Asian food. So. It was hot. I have some oat milk because it's rough. I think and my mom's here waiting for the baby, so we're all Hi. just gonna eat a pepper. <laughs> okay. For for me to go into labor, and I just want them to do it because we're be, Ivy's team. Because yeah. it'll be funny. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers, team. This is so spicy. It's like how much hotter than a jalapeno? Ten thousand. Oh god, I'm scared. Just should we just all do it one time? Just like. <sighs> no. I think mine is spicy. <laughs> Spicier. Mine isn't that bad. It's not try. Mm. <coughs> try mine. <coughs> it make you go into labor. <laughs> Are you being a baby? <laughs> um, this is a bad one. I should just eat the whole thing. Yeah. Oh god, <laughs> I'm scared. Last night when I ate this, my freaking ears were ringing. Oh, yeah, their ears isn't spicy. I think you know when they're really green. Yeah, they're really green ones are spicy. They are red a little bit, then they're not. Yeah, yeah, I was this gonna say not that bad. Because I gave you guys the. If red it has ones. a red tip. Mhm. Mm Spicier. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Oh my god, mine's getting spicier as I go into the green part. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yours doesn't. It kind of tastes like a bell pepper. Instead of the spicy ramen challenge, they should have the Thai chili challenge. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my god. All right. Do I have to eat my the whole thing? Mhm. Mm Is someone being a baby? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I ate it. <laughs> You're disqualified. <laughs> All right, baby, uh, we're waiting for you. We have some of this. Come on. Your mom's dying over here doing all this crazy stuff. Is this expired? <laughs> oh, God. It's <laughs> worse than the chili pepper. It smells funky. We have never smelled oat milk before. Ooh, my mouth is on fire. I don't know, but it's helping me. Oh, my God, it's still going. <coughs> If you want something really, really spicy, you should get these peppers. Holy shit. Did you eat the whole thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. She's determined. We're trying to get this baby out. <laughs> yeah, these, I mean, they're really good though. I ended up um, pickling a bunch of these last night. Ugh. That way they're a little bit more edible than they are just raw. <sighs> it's still going. Maybe she loves spicy. She baby. is a little Asian baby. Mm -hmm. She's like, mmm, I've been waiting yeah. for this. 
She's like, finally, Mom. Some spicy stuff. <sighs> okay, well, on to the next thing. <laughs> okay, baby. Listen, you gotta come out soon. Like, tomorrow or the next week. So that Not the I, next week! No, I mean the next day. <laughs> the day or tomorrow or the next day so I can go back home. Tomorrow. We're all going crazy. We need you out, baby. Please, this is your grandma speaking. Come out. Come out. Come on, come out. Mom? We don't have coronavirus. Get your little stinky butt out of that uh, stomach so we can meet you and we have something to do these next few weeks because we're, we're going a little crazy. Here, baby girl. We're ready. And otherwise, I'm going to be stuck here for a long time. <laughs> 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 Alright, a word from our masseuse. Um, hi, I'm Ivy's mom, and I'm also a massage therapist <laughs> and doula, and we've been working her labor points. So the first one... Acupressure. Acupressure labor inducing points. So the first one, you find the bottom of the kneecap, and you put your fingers, and it's about four fingers, depending on the size of your hand, and then outside the bone, Basically, feel around the forefinger area. Yep, that's it. Wherever it hurts a lot it hurts. is the point. And just rub it really deep. Ow. And Ivy feels like her, her uterus contracts when I press this point. So you just really dig in there, like, really hard. <laughs> it's not like an enjoyable massage. And then the next one is you go into the inside of the bone. And this one is more like... Four fingers up from the ankle bone. Again, it varies on everyone. You just kind of go around there until you find a place that like, yep, there it is, it hurts a lot. And you just rub there. And that's one. That's two. That's two. Oh yeah, I made the baby move when you went there. Okay, and then the other one is outside of the ankle. Oh, like the foot kind of. Ow! There it is. <laughs> Wherever it hurts, you just dig in. <laughs> if only men can find the G-spot that quickly, huh? And then the other one, another one was here. Have I got it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like right above On her the pinky little pinky toe. toe. Oh. That one. Ivy's just having a really great time over there. <laughs> and the other one, give me your hand. The other one is like right in between the thumb, thumb and the finger, like the fatty kind of muscly area, like in here. Oh. Yeah, got it. <laughs> that area. And Maybe then the you better other one, over this. And then the other it's one the is massages. the head one, which we actually haven't done a lot, but okay. you go. Like along the, if you have a center party, hers is a little lopsided, but you kind of go. Your head's, <laughs> your head's a little lopsided. <laughs> uh, where is it? Ow! Oh. It's kind of like in the very, very top of the head. There's a spot that you rub, and that also. And you put like a. Oh, for all hurts. these for all these points, you put like a bit of pressure, right? Yeah, quite a lot of pressure. <sighs> and then the other thing that. I don't think we're gonna do on camera is that you stimulate the nipples. Mm. And it's not just like flick, 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 flick. It's like get them and you better if a partner does it and you know, you get them and you like really like pull them. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all about pain. Uh huh. And then the last one is sex. We'll try and yep. mm -hmm. orgasms. It's what gets the baby in. What's get the baby out, not in this case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have literally tried everything today. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed that something works. The midwives brew apparently works within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's like 80%. So hopefully we're part of the 80% and tomorrow we'll have a baby. Tomorrow's the day, baby Everyone girl. Everyone send us good vibes that we can get this baby girl out. Mm -hmm. Send us labor vibes. See you soon, mommy. Say bye, and then hopefully bye. next time you see them, you'll be a real baby, not- Bye! Bye! bye. bye.